Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day today. My name is Daniel, and in today's video, I just wanna share with you briefly uh, an error code that I got on my Farberware uh, Complete Portable Dishwasher. And I just wanna kinda of go through that with you real quickly uh, to be able to be a help to you if you were ever to have this type of error code pop up on your uh, dishwasher. We'll go ahead and get right into it. All right, everybody, so uh, I don't actually have the error code now, uh, but I did a few days ago, and I just wanna kinda of troubleshoot it with you and talk through it uh, the code that I had was e1 uh, and I believe it showed up right here where the timer was everything turned off it was during a normal cycle uh, that I was running the water was splashing around doing its normal thing and it popped up and started beeping and stopped the whole cycle and it was right here I believe uh, it was either here or here there's only two options and uh, it popped up here e1 and it just stayed there and nothing nothing would work i tried to start it again uh it was it was an e1 error code and an e1 error code uh is a longer i don't know if you can see that it's a longer inlet time so uh what to do it says it is a drain problem uh, so i'm going to go ahead and share with you what i did to be able to fix this it was very simple but it is something you might not think to do uh, maybe because it is so compact uh, it, it looks as if nothing can be taken apart. Uh, it might just kind of scare you or freak you out uh, to be having to pull anything apart or look at anything more deeper uh, since you're probably not a plumber. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the dishwasher uh, to show you what I did to be able to correct this E1 longer inlet time uh, error code that I got on my Farberware dishwasher and how you could probably fix it for yourself as well. So the very first thing we need to do is simply get the tray out of here. So I've already done that uh, myself. And uh, the second part is uh, on the bottom here, which was where the drain is, uh, where the drain inlet is, we need to twist this uh, locking mechanism back to the left. So that's counterclockwise. Uh, so then this is now loose and then be able to pull this out of here. Uh, this is the drain filter or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it blocks everything from uh, being able to get through there. As you can see, uh, mine on the on the other side is a little clogged, a little nasty around the ring here. So I'll go ahead and clean this ring uh, as it looks like it's got a little bit of debris around here. But uh, I'll do that for another time. But uh, as we kind of open this up, so what we see as we look kind of further down into here, uh, there's a an opening ring here. Uh, this has two Phillips screws uh, where you can take this out and be able to see what's behind here uh, as it kind of flows from over this direction here. Uh, but below that, there's a smaller little inner ring down below here. Uh, and down below here, there are three little inlets uh, right here on the left side. Uh, they're not anywhere else but just the left side. That's where the very bottom of the drain gets drained from. So what happened for my E1 error code uh, was simply that, yes, there is a filter for very fine things throughout here, but also in the dead center here, you can actually see uh, larger pieces of food items or uh, different debris can get through here, through the middle here. And you wouldn't normally think they would drop down there, but, but for me, a corn kernel actually went through uh, this opening right here, uh, went through one of these little grooves, got down underneath here, and then got sucked through the drainage issue, which then plugged it up and caused the error code. Once I let the water kind of settle, uh, as I just kind of was looking around and poking around through here, I had taken off these two Phillips screws uh, to be able to see if there was something plugged up on the other side. Uh, maybe that's what was going on. I think that's where the actual heat comes in uh, and heats the water. As I've just kind of been poking around, uh, you know, I kind of took off these two Phillips screws and uh, pulled this piece out and looked that way. Uh, it just seems as if that's where the heating element is, uh, but the very bottom center. Uh, and then on the left here is where the actual drain uh, drains everything through, in which case that's where the corn kernel uh, had the issue. So, so I just kind of let things settle. Uh, as I was just kind of looking around in here and lo and behold, literally a piece of corn came out of one of these three little opening holes here. And I'll kind of go, and I'll kind of zoom in and show you a little bit better uh, so you can see what I'm talking about uh, inside here. But once I pulled that corn kernel out of there uh, that was you know fairly large, uh, I put everything back together. I filled up for a new cycle. I unplugged the dishwasher. I wanted to go through a full reset uh, to be able to give this dishwasher the best chance it had uh, to be able to figure out the problem and uh, to see if that was the real issue uh, with the drainage problem. So I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit better of a shot down in here 
and uh, we'll kind of wrap up the video. All right, so you can actually see a little bit better here, and I'm just going to be using my Phillips screwdriver to show you these three little drain uh, inlets uh, where this is able to be able to go through and uh, cycle through the whole system as it runs its wash. Uh, this is where I actually had the corn kernel stuck. I believe it was in the center one, and uh, it literally just kind of flowed backwards uh, with the water just sitting idle there, and I was able to kind of scoop that out and uh, just try to scoop everything out that I saw in here, just very small little specks of uh, little things. And I just tried to clean out this whole area uh, in here just in case there was something uh, about the water down in here that was an issue. And uh, lo and behold, that was the real problem. Uh, it was one of these uh, that had gotten plugged up. And instead of hurting any other parts of the system uh, from not being able to you know, suction properly, uh, it simply just gives the air code to be a help to you uh, to know that there is something wrong down in here. Uh, that's what my E1 error code was for myself. Hopefully you never actually have an error code like this, but for me, uh, I was the lucky contestant to have this issue, and I just want to bring this to your attention. I know I've done a full review uh, of this whole dishwasher, and I just want to keep up to date with you. This is the only error code that I've had, uh, and it was literally a corn kernel uh, that got sucked through here, and once uh, I turned everything off, it released that corn kernel through, and I was able to uh, clear that passageway, and I've been running... Uh, it's been five or six uh, full cycles I've done since uh, that corn kernel uh, came through. So I think it's pretty safe to say that that was the actual root problem. And it is now perfectly working just like it was before. And uh, there are no new issues with this at all. So hopefully this video has helped you uh, just kind of troubleshooting and figuring out uh, what your E1 uh, error code is for your Farberware uh, countertop dishwasher. And if I can be of any help more, I love to be. I don't know everything. I haven't had all of the error codes happen on mine. Uh, this is the very first error code I've ever had. Uh, I've now owned this for... Uh, I think close to a year, even longer now. My original first video that I made uh, talking about this dishwasher uh, was some time ago. So uh, this again is my only air code that I've had uh, since I bought it. And I've had no issues other than that uh, since then. Uh, if I do, I will definitely bring you along for the ride. Uh, if there's something that's catastrophic that happens to mine, uh, I will definitely share that with you. I'll try to troubleshoot it, uh, fix it myself to where I can help you uh, with your dishwasher. So until then, hope you have a great day today. Stay safe and God bless, guys.